How's the hand? Still a bit stiff. Mm. Hardly fitting for such a good boy. I'm sorry, Sonia. Getting stabbed by Santa. Right. Hello, Nicholas. It's Frank. Frank Butterman, your new inspector. Just phoning with details of your accommodation. It's 14 Greenberg Lane, Santa. Look forward to meeting you and all. Yes. Is it true you're leaving, sir? Yes, it is. Is it okay if we have your milk? Have you seen a lot of action, Sergeant Angel? I've experienced my fair share, yes. Little bird tells me you were part of an armed response unit. And what little bird would that be? Andy Googled you. God, I wish someone would Google me. <laughs> <laughs> were you part of an armed response unit? For two years, yes. Did you cook any fools? Excuse me? Did you shoot anybody? Shot someone. He killed someone. No way. That is amazing. It is not amazing. It's extremely regrettable, but the situation left me with no choice. Who did you shoot? He shot a crackhead with a Kalashnikov. Oscar for zero over. Nothing, actually. I was just checking if the radio was um, working. Out. Police work is as much about preventing crime as it is about fighting crime. Morning, Angle. Morning, Angle. Morning, Morning Angle. Morning. I presume you just called me Angle. Uh. All right. Point down, Began. Yeah. What else you got? Crockett and Tabby. Simon Skinner. Or Barry. He was acting suspiciously at the collision scene. But he runs a local supermarket. Anything else? Skid marks. Now he's being childish. Are you causing trouble? No, sir. I was just talking to the detectives about the accident. Yeah. Dreadful business. Are you free? Yes, yes they, they are. are. Good. Spot a bother up at Elroy Farm. Hey, we did get a little drunk. <laughs> Do you get it? Because he's, he's little and he's drunk. What? Evening all. Give it here. Let him go, they'll come round again. We do know where his house is, don't we? Oh, yeah. It's a bit of a blind spot, I'm afraid. We just catch the very edge of the explosion. That's the way to go. It was something that took my eye. It really was not that. You? Sticking it to these herbits. <laughs> ah, this is irrelevant. This is the newest we've ever got a nubbing the bastard. Mr. Weaver, can we concentrate? Tell me. Did you get a good look at this little mischief? Because if you did... Look, look, just forget that, OK? Just look for anything out of the ordinary in the vicinity of George Merchant's house. In particular, a silver convertible Jag. Registration Sierra Kilo 1, November, November 3, Romeo. Who's his hand? Do you think? Nicholas. Yes, sir. Can I have a moment? You've got to ease up on these Skinner allegations. He's the manager of the local supermarket. With respect, sir, your profession... Listen. You're an exceptional officer, truly exceptional. But you have to let the Andes do their job. If there's anything amiss, we'll hear soon enough. Until then, we have to regard these incidents as accidents. Yes, sir. Good boy.
Sergeant Angel, I do believe I've found what you're looking for. <laughs> I can't believe I shot someone. He's a doctor, he can deal with it. I never shot anyone before. Danny, believe me, it's not something you ever get used to. Yeah. Maybe we should go on the bouncy castle, take our minds off of it. What is it? Oh. Watch where you're going. I must apologize for my grandson, Sergeant. I really must. Straighten yourself up, Gabriel. This is Sergeant Angel. Yes, we've met, actually, haven't we, Gabriel? Oh, really? Yes, I gave a talk at your school, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe we can have another talk sometime. Okay. Gabriel would love that. You have a nice afternoon. Thank you. And you. Come on, Gabriel. What was that about? Sergeant Angel. Hi, hi. Mr. Messenger. I need to talk to you about George Merchant. The name might be less conspicuous if you don't bring the monkey. Constable Butterman happens to be a police officer. I thank you to show him some more respect. I was talking about that. Oh, the churchyard, three o'clock. Tim Messenger was on to something about George Merchant, who was into something with Martin Blower, who was up to something with Eve Draper. And somehow, Simon Skinner has something to do with it all. I mean, he runs a local supermarket. I, so what? Look, I mean, maybe they were all accidents. Oh, people have accidents every day. Gary Butcher drowned in his own septic tank the other week. 